Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to make these button ornaments using three different techniques. We'll make an angel, a wreath, a Christmas tree, and a snowman. These ornaments are super fast, easy, and inexpensive to make. I made these four ornaments in about a half hour earlier today. For supplies, you're just going to need three things. You're going to need some buttons, some embellishments like ribbon or mini pom-poms, and then finally something to attach the buttons together. I am going to show you how to attach the buttons using either a hot glue method, a craft wire method, or a needle and thread. So let's go ahead and get started. For our first ornament, I am going to show you how to make an angel using some white buttons, a 20 millimeter wooden bead, a little piece of ribbon that we're going to use for the angel's wings and then a little string to use as the ornament hook. And this is probably the easiest of the three methods. You're just going to lay out all of your buttons in the order that you're going to attach them. I like to start from the bottom and then work my way up to the top. I'm going to apply a little thin rim of glue around the edges there. And I'm just going to keep working my way up until I get to the last button before we attach the head. So this is definitely the simplest and fastest method to use. Um, it might not be the prettiest method because you sometimes can see a little bit of the hot glue peeking out from the sides. But um, again, you're not going to really notice that at the end of the day. So now that we've got up to the top of the angel's neck, I'm going to go ahead and just add some hot glue and I'm just going to attach my wooden bead right here. And that is a 20 millimeter or about a three quarters of an inch wooden bead. For the halo, I have this little metallic silver button and I'm just going to run my string. This is one millimeter um, white string and I'm just going to tie a knot at the end and then cut that off and I'm going to just pull the ornament hook up through the two buttonholes and we'll attach the little tied side to the angel's head so that we don't see that. So we have a pretty clean edge. I'm going to run my glue along the edges of the button and then just pop the angel right on top of that. And now we have this adorable little angel with a little silver halo. And the last thing to do is to attach her wings. So I have this little quarter inch piece of ribbon. It's about um, four inches to five inches long. I'm going to just attach a little bit of glue to the edges and just make a little, a little ring there and then attach some glue to the center. And then that's going to give us our little wings. I'll attach some glue to the, about midway down the angel's back and just attach our little wings there. And I just think that's so adorable. Look at how sweet our little angel is. And that came together so quickly in under five minutes. So, so pretty. If you want, you could draw a little face on there with a little Sharpie and maybe make it look like the angel is singing. Now we're going to move on to making a Christmas tree using jewelry wire. So I have some craft wire here. I'm going to cut off about 20 inches worth and I'm just going to bend that in half just like this. Yeah, maybe a little under 20 inches. You do want to make sure you give yourself enough room to connect all the pieces and make the ornament hook. So I'm going to start from the bottom up. So I'm going to start with a little mound of snow that our tree is going to be sitting on. So I have a white button for that. And I'm just going to run both ends of the craft wire through the white button. And then I am going to start working on the trunk. So I'm going to add my two buttons and just make sure when you have a button that has four holes that you place the wire in the holes that are directly across from each other. So if you're thinking of a clock, put one wire in the nine o'clock position and the other wire in the three o'clock position. If you put them in like the nine o'clock and the 12 o'clock position, the ornament will be lopsided. So always make sure that your wires are directly across from each other in the buttonholes. So I'm just going to work my way up all the way to the top of the tree. So you're just going to choose a selection of green buttons that kind of gradually go from bigger to smaller. I have maybe about 11 or 12 buttons here and that looks really cute to me. I also love the variation in color. And now we're going to work on making the ornament hook. So I'm just going to twist those two wires 
together and I'm just going to hold the wires with my one hand and just spin the Christmas tree with the other until I get about two and a half to three inches of our twisted um, metal there. So I'm just going to keep going and then I'll just take out my tape measure and just make sure we're somewhere between two and a half and three inches. That looks good to me. Now I'm going to take the twisted end and just shape it into a loop. So I'm just going to kind of bend it in half and then I'm going to wrap the end of the wire around the very top of the tree and that's going to tie off our little ornament. So I'm just going to keep wrapping and then when I get to the end of the wire, I'll just take my wire snips and just cut off the excess. The right way to do this is to hold your hand over the top of the snip so that the piece doesn't fly and hit you in the face or hit somebody else. So just make sure to do that. And this looks pretty good to me. I also think that the little um, silver at the top looks like a star. I'm going to just make my ornament hole a little bit rounder. I have this ring sizer. So I'm just going to um, slide my ornament hook on the ring slide sli uh, ring sizer, pardon me. And that looks so cute to me that that's not necessary. You can just keep the ornament hook in the shape that we had before, but I had the ring sizer nearby, thought I would use it. And I am going to add these little resin stars. I think it looks good without the stars. I think the little wire wrapping is decorative enough, but I had the stars. I thought I would use them. So I'm just going to add some hot glue and attach my star to the hot glue. And then I'm also going to do it on the other side as well so that this can be a double-sided ornament. And if you love these little stars, I will include a link to them in the description below. I'll include a link to all the supplies that I use in this video if you're interested in picking any of them up. And there is our little Christmas tree ornament. I adore it. I think it's so sweet. Okay, let's move on to our third ornament. We are going to make a snowman using the needle and thread method. So I have some DMC floss here. I'm going to cut out about 24 inches, about two feet. Definitely more than I need, but I always like having a little bit more thread than I need. I'm going to take my tapestry needle and that little birdie there, that's a, a needle minder so that you don't lose your needle. It's magnetic and the needle will stick to it. Um, I love them. I think they're, they're so cute. I just started using them in the past couple of months. Um, and then to start, this method is going to look a lot like the craft wire method Although instead of wire, we're just going to use the thread and I have attached a needle to both ends of the thread and I'm just going to work my way from the bottom of the snowman up and I like to lay out all of my buttons so that I know exactly where I'm going. So we're working on the bottom of the body now and then we're going to work our way up to the neck and to the scarf. The scarf is that little red button that you see and then the head are those three little white buttons after the scarf. And then we'll work on the hat, which is the black button for the hat's rim, the big black button. And then we'll have a little hat band, which is the green button. And then the two little um, black buttons after that, which are the top of the hat. So I'm just going to keep working my way through my little pile of buttons here. And our little snowman is coming along. Now we're up to his scarf. So I'm just going to thread the needle through the two ends there working at the nine o'clock and three o'clock positions like we discussed before. You want to have your thread attached directly in the holes directly across from each other so that the ornament will um, stay nice and steady and even if you were to use the holes like in the nine o'clock and the 12 o'clock positions the ornament will be lopsided. The buttons won't sit nicely. Okay, now we finish the head and we're going to work on the hat. So this is the little hat brim. So this is our biggest black button right here. And then we're going to add the little hat band, which is the green button. You can use any colors that you like for the hat band and for the scarf. I just thought it would be cute to use some traditional Christmas colors here. Now we're going to work on the top of the hat. 
and I have two little buttons and they're about the, the same size. And at this point, I looked at my snowman and I thought his hat looked a little bit short. So I'm just going to dig into my little collection of black buttons and then we'll find another button that is the same size as the other buttons that make up the top of the hat. You can even use a button that's slightly bigger for the very top just to make it look like it's a little bit flared of a hat if you like. Okay, so now he looks perfect to me. So I'm just going to tie this off. I'm going to take my needles off of the thread and I'm going to put them back on my needle minder so I don't lose them. Just love that. And now I'm just going to tie it off. So I'll tie a knot maybe two or three times here just to make sure that it's nice and sturdy. And then I'm going to tie another knot at the top of um, the loop just to make an ornament hook. And there he is. So here's our little snowman. So I thought it would be fun to add a little scarf. So I'm using these little mini pom poms that I have. These are I got these on Etsy from Lady Dot Creates and they just make a perfect little scarf. You could also use a piece of yarn or a little piece of fabric if you like, but I just thought these mini pom-poms, I had them and I thought it'd be fun to make a scarf out of them. So I'm just gonna make the little fold in the scarf, hot glue it down, and then just cut the scarf so that it's the right size. And then we'll take a few of the little pom-poms and just add them to the hat band so it looks like he has a little sprig of berries on there and I just think this is so adorable I'm so in love with this little snowman he is so sweet and cute and again super easy to make and you can also make him using the craft wire method or the hot glue method if you like okay for our final ornament we are going to make a wreath so I have some pom-poms and ribbon for embellishments and then I have three rows of buttons you're going to need six large green buttons, six small green buttons, and six medium six green buttons. And we're gonna start by working on the base of the wreath. We're gonna use our large buttons for this layer. So I'm just gonna arrange them. That looks good to me. Now we're gonna work on our middle row, which are the small buttons. I'm just gonna apply some glue to the back here. And we're gonna use these small buttons to connect the larger buttons. And I'm just going to add the small buttons to the connection points between the large buttons on the bottom. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on either side, like where the buttons are going to connect. One tip I have here is don't use too much glue because that could make it unstable. It could um, make the buttons pop off possibly. So just add the glue where you need it and just enough. So that's why I'm showing you exactly how much glue I'm using and where I'm putting the glue on the buttons. And then just mind the little strings there. We'll get them off at the end. And now we finished our second layer. So that looks good. You could stop here if you like um, and then just move on to the embellishment phase. But we're going to add another layer. So for the top layer, we're going to use our medium sized buttons and I'm going to take this little piece of red and white twine. It's about four inches. I'm going to bend it in half, make a little pool of glue on the back of this button, and then just lay the twine in the, the glue. I use a low temperature hot glue gun, so that's why I can touch it and not get burned. So if you're using a hot, um, high temp hot glue, don't do that. And then we're going to just attach that button right to the top right on top of those two little buttons that we just used for the middle layer. And that's gonna give us our ornament hook. And now we're just gonna go ahead and just attach the remaining five buttons for our top layer, just by staggering it right in between the two buttons that we had just laid down. And it's important to make sure that they sit on top of that middle layer. and we're just gonna work our way around. I also like the variation in color of the different buttons that I have here. These buttons are all from a button mix that I purchased on Amazon. I'll link that below. And now we're done with our little layers. 
and I just love how this looks. Here's our little wreath without the embellishments. And now we can move on to the embellishment face. So I have some little mini pom-poms and a little piece of gingham ribbon. This is a quarter of an inch gingham ribbon. I will also link this in the supply list below. And I'm just going to make a little bow and I'm just going to work on getting the right size. Then I'm going to cut the little ends of the bow on a diagonal. And then I'll put a little bit of hot glue on the center of the bow and then just attach it to the bottom right there. You could also attach the bow to the top if you like. And then we're going to add some little clusters of berries. So these are mini pom-poms and I'm just going to add a little drop of glue and I'm just going to place my berries. I, I like to place them like kind of in between um, the buttons. You could place them right in the center of the buttons, however you like. And I'm just going to keep going until my wreath looks pretty filled. And I ended up needing four clusters of berries to make it full. And I just love how that looks. So this is probably my favorite of the four ornaments, I think. I just love the traditional Christmas colors. And I think that gingham ribbon is just so special. So let's take a look at our ornaments that we've made today. So there's our little snowman. Here is our Christmas tree. And then finally, we have our little angel. Um, I really hope that you give these ornaments a try, everyone. This is a great project to do with children or your grandchildren. The supplies are very versatile. So if you have a needle and thread, you can use that. If you have glue, you can use that. Or if you have craft wire, you can use that. So go find some buttons, get some glue, craft wire, or a needle and thread. And I hope you have a wonderful time making these ornaments. Have a great day, everyone. And I will see you again soon in the next video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.